In order to get a better explanation on dew points, the Weather Channel's Keith Westerlidge got out a couple of sponges. It's an effective demonstration, but you might want to wear rubber boots while you watch. Let's take a look at a typical dew point map. Up to the north, we have colder dew point temperatures in the 30s, yet down to the south, dew point temperatures are much higher in the 60s in Texas and Florida, and even 70 degrees. That's very important in weather forecasting because, first of all, a higher dew point makes it more uncomfortable outside. Also, a higher dew point means the potential for heavier rain. Now, if we look at the atmosphere as a sponge, you can see a small sponge represents colder weather. A big sponge represents warmer weather. So we take both of these sponges, stick them in water, and what happens? Well, you pull out the small sponge, a cold atmosphere, and it can only hold so much moisture. Whereas on warm days, the atmosphere, like a big sponge, can hold a lot of moisture, and therefore, you can potentially get more rain. That's why it's important to know what dew point temperatures can mean. Our closer look today, focusing on, again, the differences between relative humidity and dew point. And uh, let's take a look at a presentation that we often use of dew point here at the Weather Channel. This is what we see on the Gulf Coast as the dew points go over 70 degrees, the dark green, and then in the 60s, the medium green. We often talk about dew points. This is a moving loop, we call it, going back over several hours. Now, what do these dew points mean? Let's take a look at a couple of thermometers right now. And notice that you can have snow or rain or freezing rain at 32 degrees with the dew point being just 32. That's because the temperature is also 32, and that means the air is holding as much moisture as it can hold in the vapor state. Once you reach even temperature and dew point, you reach 100% and it usually comes out as water. On the other hand, out in the desert, the temperature may be 115 and the dew point even higher. This air actually has more water vapor in it, but at 115, it can hold a lot more. So since it can hold so much more, the relative humidity turns out to be only 8%, even though the atmosphere has more water vapor in it. However, at 32 degrees, dew point and temperature, it can only hold just so much, it's cold, and the relative humidity is 100% or saturation.